Hi, boys and girls. My name is Busy Phillips. I'm going to read you a story called Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman came to town one white, cold winter's day. The first real snow of the winter had fallen the night before. In the morning, out came the children, and they started to roll snowballs. Round and round the snowy yard, they rolled the snowballs. Soon, they had two great big snowballs. Round and round the yard again. There was a little snowball, just the right size for a snowman's head. Billy ran home and brought two bits of coal to use for the snowman's eyes. Sally gave him a button nose and a funny corncob pipe. Tommy brought floppy galoshes and a scarf for the snowman. And Joe brought him a pair of old red mittens to wear. Now we need a hat, said Sally to Joe. So they all began to look around. Sally found an old cap, but it didn't look just right. Billy found a battered felt hat, but it still didn't seem right. Just then, down the street came the whistling wind, and it blew to their feet a shiny top hat. Just, just what we need, need, cried Sally and Joe. It's, it's like, like magic, said Billy and Tommy. It was Tommy who picked up the shiny top hat and put it on the snowman's head. Tommy's hands sprang back with a shock. It is magic, gasped Tommy. So it is, said a voice, a deep, chuckly voice they had never heard before. And a pleasant sort of magic, if I do say so myself. It's the snowman, whispered Sally. And so it was. Frosty the snowman, at your service, said he. That's how Frosty the Snowman came alive. If you have never had a snowman for a friend, you can scarcely imagine all the fun those children had. For Frosty took them coasting, and never had their sled slid so swiftly and so far. Frosty helped them build a snow house, and never had blocks packed so firmly and well. They all went ice skating, and the magical part was that while they were with Frosty, the children could stay out and play in the snow and never get shivery cold. Was it Frosty's warm heart or his magical smile? Whatever it was, they thought it was fine. Each morning when the children came out to play, Frosty had a wonderful plan all set. One morning he said, Let's go shopping today. I've never been in a store, you know. So they all joined hands and away they skipped off toward town where the shops stood in rows. It was fun showing Frosty around, for he thought every window was wonderful. All around the town they led Frosty that day while the warm wintry sun shone down. Soon they came to a corner and around the corner came a warm gusty wind. Off went Frosty's hat, and away went Frosty after it. Then tweet, sang the traffic cop's loud whistle, and the children could not follow Frosty because the traffic streamed by. Buses and trucks and family cars. <coughs> went the traffic cop's whistle again. The crossing stood empty before them now, but there was not a sign of Frosty to be seen. Only down the street, his top hat rolled all by itself in the melting snow. Mr. Policeman, the children cried. Where has Frosty the Snowman gone? Oh, said the policeman. Frosty the Snowman has gone away. Where all snowmen go on a sunny day. But he'll be back at your bidding and call. Whenever great heaps of snowflakes fall. And he will.